Hi guys, my name is Layla Sophia. I am an artist and fine jewelry designer. If you like contemporary fine jewelry, if you like luxury handbags, all things interiors, then I have some fun videos for you. You guys, okay. I'm going to do my updated Bottega collection, which I think I've done a few times, but um, you know, if you haven't already seen, I did just get a new bag that happened to be my number one wish list item for like the last year and a half. She's a rare gal, she's kind of niche gal, totally unknown to a lot of people, and yet I loved her that much, and I'm honored to have found her, and so she's really rounded out my whole collection. I cannot wait to share the current status of it with you guys. But first and foremost, if you guys are new here, thank you so, so much for tuning in. I can't wait to see you in all of my future videos. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Layla Sophia Jewelry. I put out videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, and so I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. Okay, so, you know, let's just start out with the newest piece. I, you guys already know, who know me, who is literally obsessed with this bag. I even, I didn't even know the maker of it when I saw, I was like, how do I say this? I didn't even know that this was a Bottega bag when I first saw the ad for it, because it was like a weird unbranded Pinterest photo. And literally I then soon quickly realized that this was gonna be the winter 2023, maybe even late winter 2022 collection by Matthew Blazy. And yeah, it's, it's safe to say I got pretty obsessed with it. I didn't find it in the perfect color combo when it first released. And long story long, apparently, I literally just got this a couple weeks ago, just unveiled it on my channel, and I've been loving her since. Is this gorgeous, gorgeous dark forest green, I'd say, right? With this very Matthew Blazy, like, you know, really Matthew Blazy kind of deconstructed foulard leather. And then where I thought I'd start with this bag is because she's a bit of a um, trickster, let's say. This whole thing, yes, which sorry, I'm not even showing the entire thing. Yes, indeed is the bag. However, are we ready for a surprise? The bag itself is teeny tiny, <laughs> is teeny tiny. And so that's also why I kind of, you know, when I first figured that out after it released, I was like, okay, I can, I can wait a little while. And yet, even though it's so small, it's kind of shockingly small, I've still been loving it. I know people who have purchased this bag and are like, it's too small, what can you even fit in here? But I'm gonna show you a few things that I kind of do to maneuver my way around here to still make it very useful. The saddest part, honestly, is that my mini pochette from Louis Vuitton, this is a vintage, really cool hand-painted trunks collection one. She does not fit in here. So you know what, that's okay. So I'm just gonna take out like, my very staple things. Ironically, like all of the contents fit, it's just that pouch itself is too big. I don't know how that works. But regardless, let's go ahead and pack this. Like I took this shopping with me one day, I took this out to dinner. So, you know, it's 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 one of those your minimal vibe days, but you can still definitely hit the town with her. So kind of hidden, but there is a really cool, you know, half moon little zipper, very Bottega with that really cool gold tone zipper. It's honestly just a very, you know, simple, easy zipper closure. And it's, I think, easier than the mini Jody. And then it's pretty teeny tiny. We have to totally, totally be honest. But when I tell you this leather, I think, I could be wrong, but I think it's the same leather as the inside as the outside. Yes, it feels very similar. So it still is that foulard leather. It's buttery. It's gorgeous. Yes, yeah, she's tiny. But you know, like my whole hand fits in there. It's really the half moon shape that makes it a little challenging. That would be good. I wonder what this fits compared to the half moon bag by the row. <laughs> if anybody has that bag and can, we could do a little virtual comparison. That's a really good idea because I'm always considering that one. But it's more spacious than you think. It's just a little awkward. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my card holder, which I'm, I'm that much of a New Yorker, okay? I've minimalized my life to just have a card holder, so that fits easily. We know my favorite lip combo, Gucci and Anastasia Beverly Hills, and then my favorite lotion from Lalabo. This is the Hinoki, which even though it's spring, we still need some lotion. That's easy. Still plenty of room, probably still even maybe more room than the 90s bag from the row. It's just a little awkward with the sides, but she's pretty roomy. And then I have found my two favorite lip serum slash balm slash treatments, whatever. We all know the Summer Fridays, but I got my hands somehow on the birthday cake one. And then this one is just on Amazon. 
I think it's called the Into You Lip Serum. It was $10. It's literally amazing. It's better than the Summer Fridays one. So those are gonna go right there. I said what I said. And then, you know, the biggest question is, is my phone going to fit? And, you know, I think with no stuff in it, I think it would be totally fine. But actually with a little bit of MacGyvering, I think this is all gonna fit, which haha. She's definitely a lot heavier now, but there we go. I got all of that in here. So it fits the essentials, my version of essentials, and there's no pulling, no tugging. I think my theory is that the bag was made this small so that even if you load it up, it's not gonna overweigh the handles. And then because I've done so many in-depth videos on each one of these bags, I think, I'll go quite quickly, and I actually think quickly, not the Layla Sophia version of quickly, because we all know I can be long-winded as I am right now, this is my dear Bottega Manetta sardine bag in the medium size, AKA with the two shoulder straps. Now there is the original size coming with the chain strap, which is a little bit longer. I love that one. However, I'm so glad I got the medium size. She's chunky, she's big. I've worn her for day to day, you know, everything. But I've also worn her more to like a meeting or something where I need to carry paperwork. I've worn her out, you know, to my parents to see them, to have a little bit more room to carry stuff over going out for an entire day. It's kind of perfection. I see zero wear, zero wear on this bag. It looks the same as the day I got it. I love some of the new colors it's been coming in. Again, I do love the original size, but for me, this just, maybe it's like, in comparison to my body, obviously I'm larger, I'm plus size. It just looks really like appropriate on my shape. And I'm fully obsessed. I, I can't believe that the sardine is like, didn't have the biggest moment that I thought it was going to have, but that's also okay. I think that she's, you know, she's a very eclectic gal, but I'm literally, this is, ooh, I almost said this was my favorite bag. It's one of my top two favorite bags in my entire collection. And again, going in reverse order. So you guys have already seen all of these bags before, but this bag, is one of the two that I'm possibly thinking of selling. So if anybody's interested, let me know. You'll see why in a second. I feel like this is the bag that I got because I couldn't find the bandana foulard bag. And whereas I still really, really love it, now that I've gotten the bandana bag, I'm like, do I need this? It holds so much more. But anyways, I don't know why I'm telling you this without showing you the piece. Because this is, uh, like, I think this bag was one of the most underrated, two of my bags. I think are some of the most underrated Bottega bags. The Twist Bag by Daniel Lee, a very late Daniel Lee style, I believe. When I first got this bag, I wore it every single day. And again, like all of these Bottega bag styles, it has zero wear. Like it's insane. Even the handle where you hold the piece, you can either hold it like this or put it on your arm. It has like, it's, as I'm looking at it, I'm like, what? It's insane. But the cool thing is that this entire thing is pocket. And then for those of you guys who haven't seen me show this bag before, the zipper is on the bottom. So you flip it upside down kind of to put all of your stuff in it. And then you just flip it back and it's much less awkward than it kind of seems. It's such a vibe. Again, I wore it literally so much when I first got it. And I'm just not sure if I need the bandana foulard bag and this bag because they kind of give similar vibes. So you guys let me know. But regardless, she's so chic. And I also love the Intratato versions. And a lot of these are going for like extraordinarily low prices on the pre-loved market now. And then my, these are like the OGs, okay? I'm so sad that I didn't start my YouTube channel like six months sooner to a year and a half ago almost. But that was my heavy collecting Bottega era. And when I tell you, I know that this bag was overrated for like a hot second when it came out. Still, this is one of my favorite bags in my entire collection, full stop. It's so easy, it's chic, it goes with literally everything. The chain pouch, again, very staple Daniel Lee style. This is in the color Porridge, which is so me. Again, it's that like beigey, it's just neutral. It's definitely cool toned, but a very neutral, cool toned leaning bag. I think it's the chicest thing of all time. I have worn this, but this is definitely one of my most worn bags in my entire collection, especially come springtime. <gasps> it's spring right now, I can't wait to start wearing this more because it's cool with a jacket because it has such a long shoulder drop. However, it's just a vibe with just an all black tank, you know, leggings, pants, whatever. It's just kind of such a vibe. Maybe it's just very New York of me, but 
for some reason, the color with the gold, the neutrality of it, yet the extraness of it. She's one of my favorite bags in my entire collection, if you can't tell. And the one that everybody knows, these next three, ooh, two out of the next three, my last three, everybody knows and loves. Okay, this is in the color tapioca. This is the mini pouch. I have the whole crossbody strap kind of, you know, strung up inside, but it's so cute as a pouch. Can we talk? Oh, I need to wear this bag today. I love this bag so much. It's so teeny. It fits my phone, yes, but kind of barely even that, but I still love it so much. I will probably never get rid of her. It's just so chic still. And it's one of those things that, yes, it was very, very popular when Daniel Lee was, you know, having his stardom phase, I'd say. But I see them out and about so many times in New York City, but it never looks overdone. Like, I don't know how to explain that. It's kind of so tasteful still. It, maybe because it's just like so innocuous. It's just so chic. It's just so cute. And it's just like, it wears so well. I I'm literally gonna wear this bag today. I love her so, so, so much. Again, the color is tapioca on this one. Very slight difference, a little bit more yellowy to my previous one. I'm gonna spend very little time on these next two bags because when I tell you I've talked ad nauseum, and I know there's so many of you guys are new here, but I've talked about this bag so much. And I've even made the boldest statement ever to say, I can't even believe I'm gonna repeat this, because, but it's that true. If I were to just have one bag ever in my entire collection, honestly, I still think this would be a contender for that. This is the, I think, way underrated Bottega Veneta shoulder pouch specifically in the smaller size. There are two sizes. Do I need the larger size one day? Maybe, but again, at nauseum, I've talked about like just how chic this bag is. I'm just saying, as all these styles, there are, these are probably these. The chain pouches are really well priced as well, but these are like the best priced on the pre-loved market. I got mine for, I swear to you, I got mine for just under a thousand dollars two and a half years ago, or no, exactly two years ago, I think. I love this bag to pieces. I've worn this to the ground. This is the only bag that you can see a little bit of wear on that handle just because I've literally traveled to four different countries with her and I still love this bag so much. Stuff it under planes, stuff it up. I, if you can't tell, she's kind of my baby. This is one of, this is the bag that, I'll go ahead and say it. This is the bag that made me trip and fall down the rabbit hole of Bottega Veneta and there's no coming back. And my OG bag, I know, I know. This is again, one of the two, the only two that I'm thinking of selling. So again, if anybody's interested, but I know I'm like, it's so good. This is my original purchase from Bottega Veneta in the color Almond. So I was just, I'm not sure if she's too pinky nude for me. Can we honestly on camera? Yes, I, it might be a little bit too much of an interesting nude. I need cool colors. I've been saying it all the time. Now you can see how it clashes a little bit but I love this bag to pieces. I would only sell this to get another. I kind of want an intrachato version, but what I really want is the Python version. We know and love this bag. If I were to find this in Python one day, again, shout out Noriana, who is one of my favorite YouTubers of all time. She just got this in Python and I said, yeah, I need the gray toned Python version of this, but that would be the only reason why I would let this one go is to get another because it's truly that good. She's the OG, I have to honor her. And you guys, that has been my updated Bottega Veneta collection. If you can't already tell, my entire bag collection is pretty much split between the row and Bottega Veneta, and I'm honored to have these pieces and even more honored to share them with you guys. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye guys.